Hello everyone! Today we're gonna scrape data from Uber Eats. We can get the name of the restaurants or the groceries, of course. We can get the delivery time, the delivery fees, but we can scrape things beyond that point. For instance, are there any picked for you items? Or you can even scrape if there is any specific discount. For instance, the buy one, get one free discount. The only thing you need to do is to download Octopus if it's not done already. You can find the link in the description. You might already know that, but Uber Eats is actually a very difficult website to scrape. And this is why we will proceed in two steps. The first thing we will do is to scrape this kind of page. We will scrape info such as the name of the restaurant, delivery times, delivery fees, and the URLs leading to the detail page. And secondly, we will use this new list of URLs in order to be able to scrape the picked for you items and the discount. In other words, we will create two tasks on Octobers. Let's start with the first one. You've got your research, so you take the URL, you copy and paste it on Octobers. In order to scrape data, I can first extract them automatically. I click on this yellow button and I click on auto detect web page data. Then you wait a little bit until Octopers scrapes the website entirely. I've got a preview of what kinds of data I'm able to get. And you can add two things. You can add a page scroll and you can click on the load more button. You need to check this box, but you do not need to add a page scroll. Why? The load more button is permanent because this is how we will load more content. The aim of the workflow is to click on the show more button like as many times as possible and then to scrape all the data at once. But I do not need to click and add a page scroll because it will imply that I both need to click on the load more button and then to scroll down the page in order to have access to more data. It's not that it's wrong if you check this box, it's just that it's not necessary. Then I click on create workflow. As I've told you earlier, my aim is to click on the load more button and then to scrape all the data at once. That's the reason why I'm gonna drag the loop item one outside the first loop item. The loop item with the click on the load more button. Then I need to change some settings, okay? Because the matching X path of the load more button is not really that accurate. So I remove the matching X path, which is a kind of formula allowing you to specify a very, very specific element within the web page. And instead of this X path, I'm gonna use that one. We will input all the X paths in the comments, so please have a look. I paste it and I click on apply. I click and click on the load more button and I'm gonna add a waiting time. Let's say about 10 seconds. And as I've said earlier, there is no need to scroll down the page after it's loaded. So we'll click on the load more button like as many times as possible. Each time we will wait 10 seconds maximum and then we will extract the data. Things works fine. However, the loop item one does not work anymore. So there is something wrong about this. And once again, we can make it right by removing the current X path and paste this one. I paste it and I click on apply. And now we need to extract additional data because the extract data step is no longer working. So what kind of data can we get? We want to get the name of the restaurant. I extract the text of the restaurant. I also want to extract the delivery price. I just need to extract three columns and I will modify the settings afterwards. 
And then I want to extract the URL. The URL is pretty straightforward. I click on it, I select in the tag list the A, the letter A. Why do I have to do that? It's because the letter A is a tag showing you there is a URL. So I click on extract the URL and I've got the URL of the detail page. I need to customize my fields because although I've got the name of the restaurant, it's always the same one, which is a problem. And I don't get the delivery fees and the delivery time. So as always, I just need to modify the XPath. I click on more, customize the XPath. And this XPath is really simple. Backslash, backslash, H3. I click on apply. And now I've got the name of my restaurants. Same thing for the delivery fees, but this time I'm gonna write backslash backslash dev and same thing for my delivery time. But you're gonna ask, okay, how can we make the difference? Because this is the same XPath for the delivery fees and the delivery time. In order to draw the difference, we're gonna clean our data. So I click on more, clean data, so as you can see, I've got my original text and the objective is to get this part of the text. In order to get it, I'm going to write a regex. So I match with a regular expression and the regex I need to write is that one. I paste it, I click on evaluate and as you can see, from all this text, from all this input, I'm able to get this specific elements. I'm gonna select the text, which is before the term delivery fee, which is 0,99 hour. I would like to give you an additional piece of information. If you want to write more comprehensive regex, or if you want to understand the structure of your regex, you've got the regex tool available by clicking here. And the regex tool allows you to write pretty much any regex you want. And it's much more easier to write them. For instance, I've told you that the regex related to the delivery fees is that one. How can I write it? Well, actually the amount is before the term delivery fee. So I just need to copy and paste delivery fee in this box. I click on end with, generate and match. I've got my amount. I click on confirm and apply. I wait a little bit and I've got all the delivery fees. The regex for the delivery time is a bit tricky, but this is the same process. I'm gonna add a step and I'm gonna write this regex. Long story short, it will help you to get what is before the letters N, I, N, which is 15 to 25. And now things seem to work. Finally, you need to save your task and to click on run. We're going to launch our task on our device if we are still with the free version of Octopus or if you are a premium user, you can also run your task in the cloud. I decided to launch my task on my device just to show you what it looks like. So I've got my website. I wait a little bit. I click on the show more button once, twice, three times and so on. I just need to wait. And once it's over, I get all the data at once. Look how fast I'm able to get my data. This is almost over. I've got 282 lines. I export my data in an Excel format. I've got my Excel file and everything seems correct to me. Now I take my list of URLs in order to get additional data. So I come back to Octopus, I click on new and advanced mode. 
The advanced mode is really helpful if you want to scrape multiple URLs at once. I paste my URLs and I click on save. So I want to extract the picked for you items. Actually, I want to extract the first two picked for you items because there is no need doing all of them. And this will be the same process as we have seen previously. We will localize the elements with XPath and we will clean the data thanks to a regex. We make everything as simple as possible for you and all of the XPaths are available in the comments. For instance, this XPath will help me to localize the first picked for you items. Let's try it out with the extension XPath Helper. As you can see, I've got the green smoothie, which is the first picked for you element. The one here means the first one. If I change one by two, I've got the second picked for you item. If I change two to three, I've got the third element and so on. And if I decide to no longer choose the picked for you items, but the pancakes, for instance, which is not really helpful because there are not much pancakes for the over detail page, but whatever. I change the picked for you text by pancakes and I've got the first pancakes element. Now that you have understood how the XPath work, we can move on. I select, let's say four random columns I extract four columns. The first column will help me to get the name of the first element, the second column, the price, the third, the name of the second element, and the fourth and last one, the price of the second element. All I need to do is to change my XPath. So I switch to the vertical view and I change all of the XPath. This one for the first and the second column. And the last two, I replace them by that one. The first column is the same as the second one and the third column is the same as the last one. And in order to get the name in one of them and the price in the other one, I'm gonna write a regex. So let's start with the first column. And the regex is the following a to z dot plus and I've got the name of my product. If you want to get the meaning of that regex because it's always easier to remember something if you get a clear understanding of it, it means that I want to get the line that starts by an uppercase. And I've got the name of my first product as this is the same regex for the third column. So let's redo it one more time. And the regex for the price is the same for the third and the last column, but it's slightly different, but the process is exactly the same, actually. I type the symbol, in my case, it's an error symbol, dot plus and I get the line that starts with the symbol. Same thing for the fourth column. There we go. Finally, I also promised you that we will be able to get whether a detail page offers you a buy one, get one free discount or not. And it's really simple because there is no longer regex to write. However, we should still import this XPath. I copy this XPath. Once again, I extract a random text and I change it. And there is an empty colon, which is totally fine because it means that at this very moment, there is no discount there is no buy one, get one free offer. To scrape your data safely, I invite you to add a wait time. So in the options, I will wait 10 seconds. 
now my workflow is over. I save my task and I can run it. And we will see what the final result looks like. My task is still running, but to be honest, I have enough data. I'm gonna stop my task and it's important to keep the duplicates because in some cases you have either picked for you items nor buy one get one free products so we should keep the empty lines i keep all my data export them in an excel file you have probably noticed it but we end up with two excel files the first one with the names, the delivery fees, delivery time, and the URL. And with this list of URLs, we can extract these kinds of data. All that remains to do, actually, is to combine both. I copy the result of my second Excel file, and I paste it in the first one. And it's better, because now I've got comprehensive data from Uber Eats. Hope my video got your confusion cleared away. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos regarding Octopus and web scraping. We will always keep you updated.